Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning the trim, break, and extend features. So I drew this scribbled basically lines for you. And the reason for that is just so we can clean it up and trim it, learn how to trim that uh, right now. Okay. So I want you to come over here to trim, break, and extend and click on it. And we're going to see all these options appear in the ribbons bar. Okay. The first one from the left, you can see is trim one, trim two, and trim three. Okay. Those are depending how many entities you want to trim at a time. There's a divide and delete. And there's a trim to a point option. Now, this is the length of the line also you want it to trim to. If you like, you can specify that. Okay, and then there's two options here. You can either trim or you can break it. Okay, now to do so, I want you to come over here and click on a trim entity. And come over here and select two lines. You're going to have to select two lines. So select the first line. And then will, as soon as you come over here to select the second line, it will ask, it will show you in dashed lines what is being trimmed. So I selected this first line and I knew I wanted to trim one of the edges, either this one or that or that, that one. If I come over here and select this line, it's gonna trim anything past it this way. If I come over here and I click on this line, it's gonna trim the top edge, okay? Click on the trim two entities. To select, I'm gonna select one entity, two entities. I'm sorry, they need to be intersected. So you select one entity and then two entities and then you'll see there's one over here that's gonna be trimmed and one over here. So depending on which line I go to, if I go to the top line, this entity will get trimmed and this entity will get trimmed. So I selected this first line and then I go up here, select that second line and then these two entities get trimmed. Okay. If I go over here to three entities, this is going to be trimming three entities at a time. So if I'm, I'm going to select one line, two line, and as soon as I select this line, all these entities around them are going to be trimmed. So I'm going to go one, two, and as soon as I go to this line, all these entities around them are trimmed. Okay. So there we go. And then you can come over here to trim, divide, delete. So this is basically, you, you go straight to the line that you want to trim and then you trim it. This is one of the quickest ways that I use when I'm programming in MasterCam. I go straight to the line that I want to trim and I just click it and it trims. Okay. And then there's also, I'm going to click on OK. And this concludes the trimming option of uh, MasterCam Lathe X6. But now for the extend feature, if you come over here to uh, trim to point, click on it. Now, what you can do is actually, if you select this line, for example, you can extend it to wherever you want. So if I move up over here and I can extend it back to that point that I broke earlier. So those become actually two pieces. If you go over one, that's one line and that's another line. So we extended that line. Okay. Same thing if, say, if I want to go, if I select this line and I want to tell it, I want it to keep going through all my parts, either this direction or this direction. And then I snap it and it extends it. Okay. If I want to extend this one all the way to this line right here, so all I do is select that line and then extend it to here. So there we go. Now this includes the uh, trimming and extending features of Mastercam Lathe X6.